From CNN chief political correspondent Dana Bash went along with Vice President Pence today as he toured the Mexican border near Nogales, Arizona. In an exclusive interview, she had a chance to ask him about a range of topics, including President Trump's use of the word treasonous when it comes to his political opponent. Dana joins us now from Tucson. So what did the vice president, did he agree with the president using the term treason? Uh, he sidestepped that, but Anderson, I have to tell you, just like you see so many times when you go around the world getting a firsthand look at things, this is a classic example of how what you just reported, what we were hearing from uh, Washington, how they're coming up with these, as you said, bizarre ideas, how to fix problems here in Arizona at the border where I was with the vice president, we saw firsthand just how real the spike is in people coming across the border, undocumented families, uh, like they haven't seen in over 10 years. So to get something done, the question is, how do they tone down the rhetoric? And I started by asking the vice president that question. The president tweeted last night the following. I think what the Democrats are doing with the border is treasonous, all caps. Their open border mindset is putting our country at risk. We'll not let that happen. I know you generally say that the president has his own style of talking, but to use the word treason, which is supposed to be punished by, by death, how do you get from that rhetoric to the kind of working across the aisle that you're talking about that's needed to fix things here? I think what you hear the president expressing is the frustration of the American people. That last month alone, more than 100,000 people came across our southern border illegally. We've got to close the loopholes in our law. We've got to end catch and release. We've got to reform our asylum system. And that's why Congress needs to sit down. Democrats in Congress need to sit down and take a break from everything else they're focused on and deal with what the American people want them to deal with, which is securing our border, protecting our country. And Anderson, the question is, can Congress at least do this narrow thing? Obviously, we have seen the inability to get anything done because it is such a white hot partisan issue, this notion of uh, of immigration. Uh, obviously, the president, as I mentioned, uh, is a big contributor to that. But this is a question that they're going to go back to Washington. He's going to he says he's going to talk to members of Congress about on both sides of the aisle and and see whether or not obviously the big big comprehensive deal is pretty far out, yeah. but at least if they can alleviate the problems that they have with these families. One other thing I would tell you, he promised, just as the president alluded to earlier this week, that there will not be a return to the zero tolerance policy. Families will not be separated, which is why they have to come up with a legislative fix.